Good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Once again, this is your boy, Rob Thomas Jr., and this is the real news behind the news. Ah, uh, yeah, today is, what, Thursday, February 20th, 2020. And guess what, y'all? Once again, in less than 24 hours, the Shreveport Police Department had to arrest a Shreveport police officer. This time, you have a female police officer. I think her name is uh, Joshua Jones, Joshua Jones, something Jones. But Officer Jones has been arrested and is allegedly accused of domestic abuse. We got to start asking questions. What the hell is going on with these Freeport police uh, officers? Now, again, we here at The Real News Behind News, myself, we, we are not anti-police. We understand that we need a police department because there's some crazy stuff happening around here. And if it was no police officers, it would be total chaos and anarchy. And again, I know a couple of police officers personally, and I'm going to be real. The, 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 uh, most of the police officers are good people, man. They're family people. But you got some bad apples on this report police department. Now, we don't know what actually happened that led to the uh, most recent arrest of, of a Shreveport police officer, but we do know it was on quote-unquote violent charges. This police officer here, again, is a female police officer, and you can go and click in the link on our Real New Behind News page, or we got the article from Channel 12, KSLA here in Shreveport. But, um, yeah, you have another police officer here in less than 24 hours to get arrested on a violent charge. Remember, um, yesterday, uh, um, you had this one police officer shot his partner. Now, I'm going to be real. I'm going to just keep it real. We're thinking, because I talked to some people who know this officer uh, closely, this officer was probably getting drunk and with his partners, and it, um, something came up about a girl. Now, we're going to leave that at that because anything else would be speculation. But we do know that we have had two police officers to get arrested here on violent charges in just 24 hours, y'all. Think about this. Now, I, I talked about it last year. Nobody paid attention. But do you realize your police department is responsible for five deaths by themselves just in the last year? In the last year and a half, they didn't, they didn't kill six people. They didn't beat countless of people up. A couple of them got caught for selling steroids, which one of the factors, one of the um, side effects of steroids is violent and aggressive behavior. We do know for a fact that nationally, police are some of the most heavily prescribed people on antidepressants. So what we're dealing with is a violent and aggressive ass police department who are really worse than some of the so-called criminals that they are, are sworn to protect us from. You got one police officer just shot somebody, and then here you are less than 24 hours, you got another police officer that's arrested for domestic abuse. Hey, it's crazy here in Freeport, y'all. Give us a minute, um, a couple of hours, we're going to try to find out as much as we can, you know, about this recent arrest of another Freeport Police Department um, a member, a member of the Freeport Police Department. But we got, to, we got to start asking questions. We as the public, don't y'all think we as the public should know if the, I mean, they should give us, a, since we pay their salary, they should give us a monthly report um, of what's in these officers' system. We should be able to demand that these police officers be drug tested and their results made known to the public because they're around here getting high, beating the shit out of people, and shooting, and in a lot of cases, killing people. Here's report. Hey, y'all give us a minute. We're going to try to find out what's going on. Y'all be blessed.